Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Another insane day of footies, and EA just seems to be going all out with this content to start the footies promo. Back to back days of incredible SBC content, especially yesterday with another big time player pick, the Premier League Tots or Shapeshifter player pick, and we got upgrade packs on a Saturday. Like EA Sports, what, like, what in the world has happened? Giving us upgrade packs the day after these uh, cards have been re-released back into packs. The crafting has now commenced on the menus. We had another player SBC yesterday with the Caballero card. I do have some thoughts on that. It's just kind of crazy. Like EA is just like going all out with this promo and we love it. And it's great because it is July and it's footies, right? This is what this promo is all about, the great content. So it was great to see all of this dropped in the game yesterday. I want to talk through all of this content and of course think about today on Sunday because are we going to make it a third day with like a footies player pick SBC? Sundays are always icon SBC days as well. The 92 plus, we've had it for three weeks in a row now. Is it going to come back today in a un like no limit repeatable fashion or are they going to drop us a brand new one? We'll kind of talk about that a little bit. And of course, watch the market with batch one cards. If you're looking to try out an Usman Dembele, a Coutinho, an Alan St. Maximin, a Amane, any of these cards that are in packs, their prices are yet even lower. Usman is under 1.1 mil as these cards just continue to drop since they are continually being packed on the market. So I want to take a look at that and everything related to content today on a Sunday in FIFA. If you're enjoying the videos and if you're enjoying footies, hit the thumbs up and of course subscribe if you're new. Let's start by talking about these SBCs from yesterday because this was the honestly the big surprise, right? Saturdays are usually really dead days and really quiet days, but I guess since it's not a promo that contains brand new cards and packs, EA said, why not? Let's be nice and give them upgrade packs two days early. Usually we don't get these until Mondays, right? And not only did we get one player pick yesterday, we had two. That 80 plus Premier League player pick that they kind of teased on the menus on Friday. If you guys saw that, there was there for a quick second. Uh, this requires five rare golds, all gold team, and 55 chemistry, 11 players in the squad. And it is just Premier League players that you get out of it, but it is only 80 plus. Now I have not done any of these. I don't know how the weight is on these, but I will tell you this, the 82 plus player pick is basically the exact same price, except you get one more rare, less chemistry is required. And we know that the 82 plus player pick is great for fodder. And what's the most important thing to have during this week of footies and during this next five weeks of footies, it's the fodder. So I really think that yes, the 80 plus is cool, but really, I would put coins into this player pick and I would be doing the 82 plus just because we know how good it is and the price is the price points basically the exact same between the two. It's probably going to be easier to do the 82 plus player pick because it's 30 chemistry instead of 55 anyway. So try a couple, see which ones work out better for your account. But the reason why these are so nice to have is because think about all of us that maybe used all of our fodder from like the 82, 25, 83, 84 and 85 the swaps packs from summer swaps, if you're out of fodder now, it's easy to pack it, right? But now we have packs that we can go out and repeat the player picks, we can go out and do. And then of course, we can go out and craft all of these SBCs, right? The Luis Diaz, we can craft the Caballero that dropped yesterday, the DePaul, but most importantly, the Premier League or Tots Shapeshifter player pick, and then the repeatable versions of the Premier League campaign bag and the Footies player pick. It's just the menu grind right now is literally undefeated. Also, another player pick gamble pack yesterday, 87 rated squad, one team of the season. I have not done any of these yet. I'm going to save them for the stream and probably on Monday. Um, but I mean, these are, this is great. Two days in a row with like unexpected player picks that are league specific, that are the most recent promo cards. Like it's not like they're giving us the old promo cards that have been released for like three, four, five months now. They're giving us the tots and the shapeshifter cards out of these player picks, which is great. And it had a pretty good reception. If we take a look at Footbin and take a look at A, the prices for these cards and how the upvotes and downvotes were, people love this Premier League or, or shapeshifters, uh, tots or shapeshifters player pick, right? It's coming in at 136,000 coins, which again, Fodder's not really that high. It's slowly rising on the low tier specifically. Um, but I, I think this is a decent value. And, you know, there's a lot of cards that are less than 136K that you could pack in this SBC. But there's also some big boys out there. And I got a few people that were tweeting me, Ginola's yesterday, uh, or not Ginola, sorry, like a Conte and some other really good cards that were people were packing out of this. 
just because there's that high tier, high range potential. And Premier League is the hype this week, right? One thing I'm a little scared about though with the footies promo is they're starting off with all this insane content and it's hitting us and it's surprising and it's great and it's awesome. But they're going to have to keep leveling it up throughout the course of this five weeks, especially if they're starting with Premier League. That's like the top league, right? They start team of the season with the top league. And that first week of team of the season um, after community, but then that Premier League Tots week is usually the most hyped week for most people in the game because Premier League is the biggest league in FIFA, right? Biggest, most popular league in the world. I think all of us would agree and say that that is the truth. And they're starting off footies with this league. So I really just hope that this content from EA Sports isn't front loaded. If you know what I mean, like I really hope that today on Sunday we get good content as well and that it lasts Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday down the line of this week because as it looks right now, content that we thought we were going to get on Monday with the player picks, we already have. Content that we thought we maybe would get like Tuesday, Wednesday, like it would drop during shapeshifters with these player picks. You know, the gamble ones, we already have that as well. So I'm just really curious to see how EA keep this going throughout the week. And also yesterday, we had another player SBC for a footies favorite. They went the next day, they went from October to November. We're now flashing back to November in FIFA. And evidently, this Ivan Caballero uh, was a footies fan favorite, which I am so confused as to why this card is a footies fan favorite. Uh, they did give him a five-star skill boost, which is really, really cool. This guy had a, uh, what was it? A sh squad foundations card. Uh, I, I don't understand how he is our card that is our footies November favorite. I mean, yeah, November brought us a promo that none of us were very, very happy with. Um, what was it? Numbers up, right? That was, in, that was in November, I do believe. We had, yeah, we had numbers up in November and we had rule breakers. EA Sports, you could have dropped a rule breakers flashback, like giving us a... A Phil Foden, right? We had a Phil Foden Tots card, so maybe not him, but, you know, maybe like a Klosterman or a, um, I don't know, Kulusevsky. Oh, that would have been banging. Maybe a Bamba or a, a numbers up card with, that didn't get a huge upgrade or the, uh, an upgrade that people liked. They, they could have given us an upgraded version of Eddie Really Tao. He's got the Tots, but I don't know. I'm just trying to throw ideas out there that EA could have done instead of this Caballero card. And all right, I can't complain too much. Uh, because it's only 55,000 coins and he does have a five star skill move upgrade, medium body type or average body type, high medium work rates, um, and he does have the finesse shot trait. I'm sure he's kind of nice in game, but I think people are just surprised by this one being called our favorite. Uh, like, I, I don't even think I had this guy in my club and he was a f November favorite. So I I'm a little confused by that one, but whatever EA Sports, GG's, uh, at least it's cheap. And it's a 93 rated card that you can go go, go get for 54,000 coins. And if we take a look at fodder, other 93 rated cards in the game are like 50k, 45 to 50k. So realistically, it's almost fodder. You might as well go and craft it with player picks that you're doing this week. It is really easy to do. So not too many complaints there. It's nice for the EFL Championship squad too. If they were to release any more objectives that require EFL Championship players, you're going to have a 93 rated striker that you can go out and use in those as well. So that SBC yesterday was just more confusing um, than anything else that he was chosen as our favorite. But with that being said, I think EA is getting way ahead of themselves. Like I said, again, with the player SBCs and with the player pick content. So I'm just a little bit worried about how this content is going to progress throughout the week. Um, and even today on Sunday, I feel like it kind of has to take a step down just a little bit, right? Sundays, as we always know, are days where we get the icon SBCs, the icon upgrade packs. They usually drop or they refresh. And I think that's going to be the case today. Now, the real question is, are they going to release this for the fourth week in a row? I could see them doing the 92 plus moments player pick again for a fourth week in a row and make it repeatable with no limit of the number of times you could complete it. And maybe they make it cheaper. I feel like that has to happen with the insane player picks they're giving us right now uh, that are just so much better than icon player picks anyway. Um, they got to make this icon player pick really cheap and pretty and repeatable this week. That's just all what the player picks are right now in this game. So hopefully they go ahead and do that. Um, but really, what else would they do? A 92 plus moments player pick. I feel like the next jump upwards is a pretty big jump. Could they go to 94 plus already? I think that would be too much. Maybe there's something along the lines of where they could do like a 92 plus moments, but it's one of five. Or they do like a 92 plus mid attack. Maybe they start deviating into the position based moments upgrade packs 
where they give you, you know, the mid or, or attacker kind of variation on the player pick while still being 92 plus, you do take out some of those, you know, defenders that probably nobody wants to pack anymore, but you still have the, some of those lower tier icon moments attackers that would be in there, like maybe a Stoichkov, I'm not saying he's bad by any means, but maybe a Burkamp with Stoichkov and people still go out and do it because, oh my goodness, I have a better chance of packing a Ronaldinho or a Ilay or something like that. So that could be the next step, but I would imagine some sort of icon player pick today. Is that going to impact the fodder market that much? You know, maybe a little bit, but I don't think there's as much hype for an icon player pick unless it's a brand new one or it's stupid cheap. I really don't feel like that's going to impact the fodder market too much today, but I mean, who knows? Because fodder has been moving like crazy regardless since the start of this weekend, since the start of footies. You got 84s that are approaching 5,000 coins, 85s or 9K and, and up, 86s or 12, 13K. The only part of fodder that's still kind of on the low are the higher tiers, right? 89s, 24K, 88s or 22K. All of the higher rateds are just kind of get squashed down because a lot of our SBC requirement right now is like 87 rated squads and below. And people are packing one or two of these like 88 to 92 rated cards. They go put in an SBC, fill in the rest of the squad with 84s and 85s. And that's why these cards are rising. I honestly think that 84s, 85s are going to continue to slightly rise up throughout the rest of this week. And the higher tier fodder probably isn't going to move much unless like an, a 94 plus moments comes out today or something that is a bit more expensive but requires like 88, 89 rated squads that has a lot of hype is dropping that's the only thing that's going to make a lot of this stuff go up but like the 84s and honestly i would take a look at the 83s if we're taking a look at roi potential 83s in the past have hit prices of like 3k like these guys have hit 3 to 4k um you know 4k only about one time but 3k they'll hit 3k every couple of weeks this might be one of those weeks where 83s hit 3,000 coins and 84s hit like six and a half to seven K if the content keeps rolling, because right now we have such great content. And if the lightning rounds are going to be done after today on Sunday, people are still going out and doing upgrade packs and all that stuff. And we're getting more SBCs. This is probably just going to keep on rising a little bit more. So that's kind of how I feel about the fodder market. Uh, and I, I think it's probably going to just keep going up on today's uh, side of the market as well. Yesterday, I took a look at the index on 84s. Last night, I was like, hey, guys, it's probably going to keep going up. And that is exactly what it did. One thing I noticed about 85s was like 85s are a little bit down right now on the index. They were 330 points. Now they're 303. Um, so, you know, maybe some of your 85s. Let's see. Let me take a look at Oryar's ball. 8.9K. We might have had a few lightning rounds. I haven't looked late Saturday into Sunday. Oryar's ball was 10K. And now he's down to 8.9. I mean, there might be a, a quick investment opportunity on some of these cards because if your 85s are at 8 to 9K, yes, they can absolutely hit... Um, highs of 11, 12,000 coins maybe this week. But again, we just have to see that content continue to be great and no more lightning rounds run. I just, I don't think they're running a lot of lightning rounds either um, because it's not new cards and packs. And I think EA knows that they're not selling out. As I saw the lightning rounds on Friday, those were not selling out. I have not been following the store very closely. So I, I can't really say with 100% certainty that they have been running lightning rounds in the late night time frame, they might not have been. And that's just even more reason why fodder could continue to go up this week. So, you know, if you're somebody who loves to trade in that market, um, we we talk about it a lot at this stage of the game because fodder is huge, right? And there's a lot of SBCs, so you gotta be very attentive to fodder. So like these are of balls at like 8K, like I would be snatching these up, I think, or just your really good uh, high, value like high value i mean by cards like tiago silva as a 85 rated card that does go up a decent amount i think 85s look decently good i really do i think they look solid and i think that okay he's not actually 8.8k but you know 9k low nines is probably going to turn into 11k later on this week for 85s and 86s can probably go to 17 18k as well if we continue to get that good content rolling throughout the rest of this week that's honestly where i see the fodder market going i don't think anything's going to make it go down unless EA drops some big time surprises. But other remarks about Sunday content today, um, we do know that we're gonna get a Havertz, right? We know that this is the second winner of the footies vote, the, the vote. Now, Foot Sheriff leaked him yesterday and said, as I said before, two of the three nominees will receive an SBC, Havertz is added to come. Different from Diaz, he's not expecting him to be a premium footies card, which is slightly interesting because 
maybe EA Sports is just going to give the winner the premium card and then the second place item um, is going to be just a regular footies. I don't know. I wish it was both cards being premium footies. He says below this tweet that it's still a possibility that he could be premium, but it's not guaranteed since he's the second most voted. So I don't know what to believe with this. Um, this could drop today, but again, like I said, if they drop this today, that would be another reason to me that saying that this content is very front loaded and it's very kind of pushed all towards the beginning. And then I'm wondering what in the world they're going to do for the rest of this week if they're putting out Havertz today. So we will just have to see if that drops or if it doesn't. But again, Icon Player Picks, the only real thing that I'm expecting today. We have no other leaks. Not entirely sure about that. Uh, token wise, I think we are up to, are we up to like 40 tokens now? I haven't seen the token tracker um, for the recent day. Let me take a look at Criminal's Twitter and see what the token tracker is. I don't think he even updated it from yesterday because there was, yeah, no new tokens. So we are currently at 40 tokens. Maybe they'll drop another one today. Maybe not. It's probably going to be a situation where tomorrow on Monday, they're going to drop us like eight more. That'll take us to like 48, sprinkle in a few to end the week, and then that'll be it for the summer swaps tokens. Um, and then, of course, the rewards are going away this weekend as well. So just be very careful with that. That, that I think it's the 25th. That might be a misspeak. 22nd or 25th one of those two days is when the rewards go away so just be careful if you're grinding after any of these swaps tokens or yeah it's a week it's it's eight days from now so i think it actually is the 25th of july is when these rewards go away yeah that would make sense that'd be about eight days so we will see what happens uh in terms of these summer swap token content i'm not expecting a lot i feel like ea drops those objectives and says here go grind these get these tokens and then we'll go from there let's talk market for a little bit we've put it off long enough but let's take a look at some prices from cards that are in packs now specifically at the beginning we mentioned like usman dembele right usman was 1.3 mil yesterday i believe usman is under 1.1 at the moment he is 1.06 and i haven't looked at this graph super specifically to see if he went even lower earlier but Usman was 1.2, he went down to 1.07, had a bounce up 100k, and is now back down again. I mean, I said this yesterday too, there's going to be fluctuation, there's going to be hours of panic selling. I know that Alan St. Maxman yesterday had some good fluctuations, I think he might even be back up right now. He went down to 1.25, up to 1.33. Basically, St. Max has been between 1.2 and 1.3, which is currently where he is. Um, but if I look at a couple of these other cards, Conte 7.10. Where, where was another one that I saw was down today? Where's Zlatan? Zlatan was under 200K. Coutinho was down like 40, 50K from where he was last night. Um, let's see. Danny Alves at 200,000 coins. I think that's down a little bit for him. Messi 7.98. So a lot of your cards that are in packs... In, as a part of batch one are just kind of slowly still dropping down in price probably going to drop even more today on sunday not because of lightning round but just because again more supply when you get cards re-released back in packs usually at the end of the weekend you start to see them drop off a little bit more because people that have packed him or that say oh my goodness these cards are so cheap i want to go try them out they oftentimes go ahead and and after the weekend ends after their weekendly games are over they go out and they sell them because their time to try them out has ended. And with more supply, they're still being packed as well from whatever lightning rounds they release or whatever packs they drop too. And that actually makes the cards even drop lower. So like they did yesterday, I would expect these cards to continue dropping over the weekend. Maybe a few of them could rise into Monday though, if the content dries up. And that'd just be something I'd be watching out for. If you see big time percentage drops today, like if Usman were to go... Uh, clearly under 1 million coins. Like let's say Usman is like 950K tomorrow night or something. Then that would be a situation where I might look at this card and say, okay, um, that's a pretty big drop. People that would want to use this card may be going out and giving him a look. So, you know, that uh, people usually buy cards on Monday mornings anyway. So we'll be taking a look at that in tomorrow night's video, most likely um when we are kind of getting closer to that situation when we just see how big the drop-offs are in price then we'll be able to kind of get a better hold of that situation so sunday content today i'm ready to be surprised again ea sports surprise us with some other sort of player pick maybe it's the icon moments player pick they're going to surprise us with today or the havertz sbc but um yeah man i mean good content so far overall like this stuff i'm, I'm excited to grind the menus like this menu grind that we have on this game right now is fantastic i know it's july and it's like nate i don't want to put too much of a grind in but 
The fodder is great from these player picks. Let's see if I can do one from the club really fast. Really fast. Can I do one from the club? Not going to be as long as yesterday's video. That's for sure. Um, after we had, what was it? Like almost 31 minutes of me sitting here and talking to you guys in yesterday's video. Crazy. Oh, we have plenty of cards here in the club. Let's go. Daka can go. Ake. Buyate. We're going to get one player pick done here and we're going to pack a special card because it's footies. That's what, that's what's going to happen. Okay. 82 plus player pick. I don't even have the bronze squad activated for better pack luck. Three, two, one special card. Come on team of the week or something. Okay. Well, evidently they're still hit or miss, uh, but we'll do these a lot. We'll do a lot of these this next week. All right. One more. I, I can't just leave on, on that. There's no way. Come on. Give me some. League one Uber Eats. I can't leave on that one. There's no way. So we're going to do a bunch of these later on this week. We have way too many coins for our own good still in July on this game. So hopefully we can pack some more great cards and have some fun doing that. Let's go 30 chemistry. Maybe, maybe I need to try some of the 80 pluses. If they're, if these 82 pluses are not hitting, maybe the 80 pluses will be good. There's, oh my God. <laughs> 83 Raven Rip Art, which I don't even take. Wow, EA's trolling me. They're like, Nate, you just need to get off the game uh, and stop opening player picks. So I'm going to take that warning and do just that. If you guys did enjoy the video today, leave a thumbs up on it. Comment down below uh, what you've been doing on the game. If you're just playing weekend league, good luck if you're doing that. If you're doing the SBCs, let me know how you're feeling about this footies content. But if you're new around here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I'll catch you later. I'm out. Peace.